Hi everybody. Hi everybody! Today, guys, we're here at Patriot Park, and we're going to do something that has been highly requested from us for a very long time, and we just never have done it. Now, we have done videos like this in our video, you know, in our channel, but we've never did a video that was dedicated to the subject, and that is uh, back roads of well, the Pigeon Forge or Sevierville or Gatlinburg area. So today uh, we are going to show you just some of the, um, I guess, the hacks to get around Pigeon Forge. Now, I do want to warn you that sometimes these back roads can get dangerous and twisty and turny. So a lot of folks, we don't suggest like taking the back roads. A lot of these back roads will take you actually out of your way. So, um, but they might get you there faster if the parkway is like backed up or something like that. And you can also get lost on them. <laughs> we've gotten lost on them uh just recently we got lost i took the wrong turn and then ended up in uh, i thought it was over by gallenberg and we ended up in uh cosby you know we ended up in, in newport tennessee so, so you guys should be able to follow us step by step as we drive through we will only cut the video like at stoplights or, or things like that that way we don't make the video that long or any time we stop for an extreme amount of time um, you ready, Don? I'm ready. Okay, let's do this. <laughs> adventure starts well right here at Patriot Park guys and we're just going to show you well some of the back roads here um, some of the roads that we drive I know you guys were interested in how we get around well that's how we're going to do it today so first we're going to turn right up here on well I guess what is, what is this called? The old mill. I call this the old mill road. <laughs> uh, but Teaster. we're gonna, well, Teaster's coming up, so we're gonna be the old mill to Teaster, and then make a actually it is left. the old mill avenue. But anyways, we're gonna turn uh, left here on Teaster. This can actually be kind of tricky to get out of sometimes. Guys, we're gonna make that left turn on um, on Teaster. You know the crazy thing is a lot of folks that we talk to don't even know Teaster is even back here mm -hmm. isn't that crazy that is crazy yes yeah, so. but uh, anyways guys we're gonna just drive up here just a short distance and we're gonna come to the light there's the new traffic light that goes to food city and we're gonna make a, a right there but we're gonna show you I guess kind of show you like how to if, if like the um, the parkway is like jam-packed full of people like during a rod run you could take this way now that doesn't mean that the back roads are going to be jam-packed in fact nine times out of ten you're going to find yourself jammed on the back road too but we're going to take what they call ridge road ridge road here runs technically the ridge on the uh i guess you call it somewhat the north i mean the um east side of of uh, Pigeon Forge, but anyways, you'll notice these roads are very twisty and turny. I guess you would you would call it <laughs> twisty and turny. And, uh, these videos are going to be long, guys, because we're not really going to edit them. So. trying to we're, we're actually uh, gaining a little elevation I know it's very hard to tell that in videos but but we, yeah we're super excited we we got back from Nevada we did a lot of hiking and, and what have you well not really hiking but we saw hiking opportunity I guess that's what I what I mean but you notice there's a homes and find yourself like on a roller coaster of, of roads here so this road here has multiple outlets if you take it straight pretty pretty much uh, you will end up in Sevierville uh, there is a couple of um, like side roads that will take you uh, 
down towards like the uh, country tonight, crossing the Titanic and, um, and what have you. So we're only what less than a mile off the strip, and you notice that we're already kind of uh, kind of quiet back here. Well, at least quieter than the strip it is, than the strip in its, itself. Yeah, I cannot talk today at all. Of course, I couldn't couldn't talk for the last two weeks for some reason I don't know but anyways so Don what do you think about the back roads the back roads are can be nice but they can also be dangerous yeah I've had way too many times cars coming right at me um, in fact we do see a lot of accidents back here quite a few accidents actually yes coming up on our right is actually our dump yes yeah, see this is where all your trash goes and they got a really interesting way of doing it did you know all trash is sorted out plastic goes one way uh, paper goes another and everything is recycled so everything you throw in a trash receptacle in Pigeon Forge or our Gatlinburg or Sevierville or whatever will come to this great big huge white building that's coming up in front of us here. And all the bags are like shredded up and metal goes one way and you know, they, they actually recycle it. And then um, what have you, so. So a lot of folks are like, there's a lot going in, going on behind just you throwing something into the trash. Army National Guard Recruiting Office. So you can join the Army. That's the uh, the dump right off to the side there. You notice the road kind of has got a little bit of, um, I don't know, trash or, or pieces of the trash anyway. Sometimes in the summertime here it doesn't smell all so good either. And then, um, you know, so we got Sugar Holler road that goes off to the left there. But it's pretty much just residential back here. Mount Zion Baptist Church. But that's what we like about the Pigeon Forge and Gatlinburg area is that um, a lot of times you could be right on the strip and then you could be home within a few minutes. So, and we now officially entered uh, Sevierville. Pretty quick, we went from uh, yeah. Patriot Park to Sevierville. You'll be kind of shocked on how fast we get to, well, Sevierville. A lot of people are really shocked. Kind of beautiful out here. Oh, the cows are all grazing down there in the water. Yeah, there's some. Oh, they're all swimming down in there. That's really neat. You see them down there in the water because it is a hot day. It is hot. We got a. It's actually a used car lot out here. I always thought that was kind of weird, like out in the middle of nowhere. Just the. The random used car lot. This is the main road that we would take to get to Sevierville. much traffic out today. you'll know it will take you to Dollywood to Sevierville or to 
um, the Walmart. This will actually dump us out in front of the Walmart in Sevierville here. You gotta be very careful because a lot of people move quick around this corner. I've seen a lot of accidents. And this is actually uh, Wyndham. Wyndham here in Sevierville. Bluff Mountain is directly in front of us. Club Wyndham. And there's the new Severe Air, which is kind of like a uh, uh, top jump in, in Pigeon Forge. Trampoline Ninja Warrior. <laughs> Applebee's and the resort. Texas Roadhouse here in Sevierville. And the old Smoky Mountain Palace. Then over here on the right is where the old um, NASCAR Cafe used to be, but that's been um, dozed down a few years ago. Of course, Buffalo Wild Wings. And, and directly in front of us is, well, Walmart. Yeah, it's the Will, um, Sevierville Walmart. Walmart. Isn't that uh, amazing how quick we... Uh, we actually um, made it to Sevierville. Guys, we're in Sevierville. We're actually here at the, uh, the NASCAR Speed Park and, and all that. We did that with less than five minutes, right? Yeah. So you could be at Patriot Park and be in Sevierville in like less than five minutes. Uh, but like I said, these back roads can be dangerous, guys. Uh, you know, people will come at you. Um, I've come real close before to getting hit, hit head on so definitely and then there's a uh, tanger and that over there a lot of folks don't know this either but there's a lot of parking underneath the bridge there and what have you now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do actually a repeat Te technically we're gonna go back the same row we did but we're gonna show you uh, well, some, I guess the side roads that you could take on that road to get out, let's just sail across from the Titanic. So hopefully you'll get a sense of both ways on this road. And we're just passing Fred Ruckers. We have not, uh, Dawn, you've ate at the Fudd Ruckers there. Yes, it's a hamburgers. It's a hamburgers, huh? Yeah. And you get, like, how many, you, well, I don't know how, what the, how they do it now, but you used to get your tomatoes and lettuce and pickles, whatever you wanted, and how much you wanted of it. Yeah. I don't know how they got it set up now. They got orange leaf fo uh, foil, foil treats. I, I know I butchered that at the, the, the name of that place, but I think it's one of those places where you put ice cream and like all the, you know, the condiments, you know, like um, chocolate chips or gummy bears or what have you. It was back there at the, oh. yeah, at the uh, Severe Air. Okay, so we're passing in front of the window again. And um, hopefully by the end of this, guys, you guys will be pros at taking this little back road here. Now we're going to put our turret single on. Like I said, this is a very, very busy intersection. Yeah, it's a nice little, little quick jaunt. See, pretty much a lot of people don't realize, I guess the park shoe kind of looks like a horseshoe. And this kind of drives through the center of it. 
I guess. So that's the reason why it's so much longer going the other way. You'll beat all those stoplights. Uh, you'll beat the, um, you know, st sitting in front of the Titanic. So when you're coming into town, you turn off the Walmart there, head up to Collier, turn on this drive. Uh, speed limit is 30 miles an hour. I know some folks say in our drive videos, you guys look like you're traveling fast. That's just the camera. The camera makes you look like you're driving fast, but we're driving actually 20 miles an hour. We just want to uh, say that because some folks are like, hey, you guys are driving way too fast. It's like, no. <laughs> and definitely do the speed limit because uh, believe it or not, there's a lot of places that sit back in these. I see them almost every day. They're cutting down trees over there. Yeah. But anyways, um, we're coming back up to the uh, Pigeon Forge um, city limit here. And um, yeah, we're now officially back in, in Pigeon Forge. Here on the right, you got, it says, Welcome to Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. I even got a Welcome to Pigeon Forge back here. Beautiful drive. You can see the mountains off to the uh, off to the right and what have you. But we're gonna take Sugar Holler. So you keep going straight. That will take you back to New Food City. But we're gonna show you guys well what the the side road looks like here. Or at least this will take you out out towards the uh, the Titanic. And uh, what have a lot you. of bumps. Yeah, this road here yeah. is. This real roller coaster fish. <laughs> and uh, if you drive back here, I just recommend you guys drive slow. Well, this is where time. that guy came head on. I mean, we yeah. literally, he, I mean, enough to where uh, he actually like, like, clipped the front bumper, Ouch. just like barely, and a few seconds more. If I didn't turn and kind of went off to the edge of the road, which I almost ended up down in the... There's not much of an edge of a road. Um, I think we would have hit. And that happens to me, what, 10 to 15 times a year back here, so... <clears throat> so it's not a fast way to get there, or, you know, I mean, as in speeding-wise, but it saves you time and distance. Of course, now the... UPS is the UPS here. guy is is now stopped on the road here. So poor UPS guy's got to drive that <laughs> that truck up and down the the roads here. Okay, so, so this is going to be a um, an interesting. Okay, he's waving me on here. You can see around the corner. But these could be like racetracks. A lot of locals will take these at like 40, 45 miles an hour. And I guess even the, the tourists in the area, I've seen out of state plates take these cor corners real fast. And there is also uh, rentals, uh, you know, overnight rentals uh, scattered through these back roads here too. This here should take us to um, almost in front of the Titanic. Now it does seem to be a long way going this way. Like, you know, I think we would have already been back towards um, Patriot Park. We would have just kept going straight. We wanted to show you guys this way too, in case you have a, something at a, a Titanic or you want to come in the middle of 
or if you're at the Titanic and you're stuck in traffic, I guess you could make a turn and then come up the opposite way that we are going now. And there's the outdoor gravity park. That's where they uh, take these great big, huge, giant like <laughs> balls. Now, if you turn here, they'll take you up to uh, like the the wax museum. This here will take you out uh, by the wood fire grill. There's a weeping willow tree. The weeping willow. And then over here used to be the old uh, Bartlett's Water Circus, right? here on the strip guys right across the street from uh, well the the diner the um, Sunliner diner and there's the well, King Kong and what have you so now what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna technically go the way that we came I know this is a lot of redundancy in this video but I think sometimes you got to be showing twice so if you're traffic going this way or whatever you can turn by the Sunliner Diner oh. and head back well the same way we we came so what do you think about this uh Dawn? Oh fun. Did you like driving around the back roads? Yeah. Get you there pretty quick sometimes. Uh oh, we got the we got that that UPS guy in front of us again. Nope, he's off. He's off to the side there. But we're gonna, guys. If you guys like this video or like these videos, definitely give it a thumbs, thumbs up, up and definitely in the comments say, hey, Will and Don, do more of these or uh, let us know because if we don't get enough thumbs up. Or we don't get enough comments or you know activity we're not gonna you know we're not gonna do these videos um, there's a lot of other places to get around gatlinburg got two or three different ways of getting in uh, and getting out or however you look at it uh, there's also other ways around uh pigeon forge uh, there's also some ways if you're out on like Sevierville, like from uh 40 on six you know from around the 40 area to 66 on there's actually a lot of different ways to to get around um, I guess the parkway out there um, so definitely guys we do need that to, um, make sure even if you're not subscribed or if you can give it give it a thumbs up there'll be a huge indicator and if you're one of those out there who like to give us a thumbs down, do that too, and we'll still consider that as a as the go ahead and do these videos. Just show us that you're alive, right? <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't say that, right? <laughs> uh, but anyways, yeah, it's a nicely uh, it's nicely paved too. There's not a lot of like chuck holes or. There is no shoulders. If you do uh, break down or something, you're gonna have a. I have to try and find somewhere to pull over at. Yeah, you'll have to somehow. We're going up this hill here. We're climbing it. Yeah, and there is some um, some tough climbs too. So I guess if your if you got the vehicle loaded down with like 25 people and 10,000 pounds worth of luggage. I have a hard time getting up some of these hills here. I've even seen bear back in here before, running around. And then we're gonna turn right here and we're gonna head back towards Patriot Park. Kind of like if you're also get like motion sickness. <laughs> I used you, to get really motion sickness. Yeah, you'll get sick sometimes going. There's not a straight a straight back road yet. I haven't found it. You know? Not in the south. 
and not here. <laughs> but guys, uh, that was, um, we're back here up on Ridge Road. Ridge Road, Ridge Road is the main connector. And of course we're just, we're, we were on Sugar Holler, or Sugar Hollow. Depending on where you're from, people say it different ways. But now we're heading by the Severe Solid Waste. Incorporated. You'll see all you see all the trash in there. Um, I feel sad. <laughs> I feel bad for the folks that work there. It's got to be a stinky job, you know. What I mean, because they literally sort it. It's uh, can't smell very good. But what would you recommend? What would be the hack for doing these back roads? Definitely pay attention. Uh, definitely do them slow. Don't be Mario Andretti, right, Don? Anything nope. else? Um, you, you gotta really watch out and run these curves and stuff for people coming at you. Sometimes people walk the edges of the roads. You won't yeah, see you gotta them. watch out for people walking as well. You know, these are, this is residential back here, so. But the big thing is hard to believe on the other side of that ridge is all of. Pigeon Forge. Mm -hmm. Here's some honey, uh, Smoky Mountain Honeymoon Gardens. Must be a little overnight community or something. No trucks over 10. There's the, there's the sheriff. They will patrol in here, they do. you've learned a, a hack you've actually learned a, something to do now like I said during rod runs you will be bumper to bumper in here I'll guarantee it guarantee you'll be bumper to bumper in I remember here. we tried to take back roads during a rod run a couple years ago and it was bumper to bumper yeah we were actually it was an accident we were actually stuck on the back road longer than if we were just out on the strip. But. Yeah, that's uh Riding the Jeep. We are the Yellow Jeep Tours, everybody. <laughs> a lot of folks are saying, hey, have you done the Pink Jeep Tours? And I go, no, we're the Yellow Jeep Tours. We take, well, up to 40,000 people for a ride in the Jeep at a time. Now, can you imagine if, can you imagine the Pink Jeep Tours could take 40,000 people with them at a time? They'd probably be tickled, wouldn't they? Guys, here we are. We're coming back out to you. No, Pigeon Forge, guys. You guys will recognize this all up here. Now that they put this light in here, uh, it has made it so much easier to get in and out of here. Because sometimes you get here, you'd be traffic jammed. But guys, we're here at the New Food City on, uh, on Teaster. And we're going to head back to the The old mill. There, there's our green arrow, guys. The old mill, right? The old mill. Guys, that's gonna do it for uh, today's video, our drive video. Like I said, guys, uh, leave a comment down below. Just say, "Hey, Will, let's see more." Just give it a thumbs up or a happy face or anything. Uh, tell me your thoughts. Uh, 
tell me what you um, what you would like to see in these drives. This is the way you, these are videos you would love to see. And um, good, bad, or ugly, put it below. And guys, we're back here at Patriot Park. We are back here where we started. Now, normally, it could take you over an hour or so. We did all that driving. We were only gone for like. We were only gone for, well, it was like 30 minutes for that whole thing, but you'd be on for over an hour, guaranteed. And we're back here at Picture Park. If you guys like this vlog, give it a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe so you don't miss these upcoming, well, Smoky Mountain Adventures. We're going to have plenty of Smoky Mountain Adventures uh, just around the corner. And until next time. Thanks for watching. Good night, everybody.